What is going on guys? Welcome to my brand new Football Manager 2017 series. But before we get into it, quick shout out to Wolfie for the thumbnails for this series. He's been doing thumbnails for me for over a year now, so massive props to him. Check out his channel, link as always in the description. But here, Maidenhead United in the Vanarama National League South is going to be the team I am using for lower league management this year. You can see media prediction is fourth. That's actually gone up from seventh after the signings I've made. So that's a nice little feature in Football Manager there. After you make good signings, assumingly, yeah, uh, the media prediction can go up. And maybe if you sell players, like sell good players, it could go down. I haven't really experimented with that. I've only done like two saves so far in Football Manager 2017. That Chelsea one and another private one. But anyway, I'm really excited about this. And a quick explanation, if you're not really too familiar with this kind of series, a lot of people would be. But in England, uh, I'll just go to add or remove leagues. That might be the best way. I mean, I've, I've only loaded England as well because I don't intend to be moving to other nations. That's not the kind of series. But I may do one like that in the future. Like I said, uh, there's going to be different series on my channel from now, basically. More challenge saves opposed to the big teams. So I'm really excited to get underway anyway so you can see we're in the national league south so if you're unfamiliar the north league it's kind of the same level you get promoted from those divisions you get to the vanarama national league then into the football leagues in skybet league two skybet league one skybet championship and then the big one english premier league and also on that as well this is probably going to be well it is in the past, I've been a bit up and down. I've been inconsistent with my style. Sometimes I'll play a bit off camera. Then I'll start doing like all games, recording all games. And I just want you guys to know I'm basically going to be doing that for now. Like playing more games off camera so we can really review what's happened a lot and get through seasons quicker and it will be good for the series and yeah not really changing it up like that all the time so hopefully you guys will enjoy that I just want to mention it at the start of the series so you know that's going to be uh, the method and the style for my football manager content from here on out for these challenge saves most definitely so also if we go into the preferences I'm just using football manager dark as the skin I've tried a few of these others I've downloaded yeah, quite a few actually but yeah, they just haven't felt right, to be honest. And the default skins, like whether it be, yeah, just the Football Manager one or dark or light. I actually really like it this year. Um, I haven't used the default skin for ages, honestly, in Football Manager. And yeah, it's probably the best it's been. Honestly, it's very nice, very simple, uh, but at the same time, really in-depth with the player panels on the profiles and everything like that. So yeah, I'm just using that as my skin. And it will be, I suppose, like familiar for you. Uh, like if you don't download skins yourself, as I notice, yeah, some other people just using the default Football Manager skin in the game as well on YouTube. So I'm really excited to start this save and I already showed you the media prediction, but also I'll show you the board expectations for the league at least. We'll go through the competitions and we'll see the details. Minimum expectation is top half. So that was coming from the media expectations like in the game. When you start a save with Maidenhead United, the expectations is seventh. So that's why, yeah, the top half minimum expectation from the board, but we made some decent signings in my view and I guess the game's view as well considering that's gone up, but but yeah, the expectations of... Yeah, that will be interesting if the expectations could increase throughout the season like the media prediction at the same time. So yeah, you can see that. But we will... Actually, I'll go through the transfers first and then we'll yeah analyze the squad as a whole. We could just get straight into the first game, but I'm sure you guys would want to know yeah, about the players, because it's not like Premier League where you have knowledge of the players. I definitely don't as well. So yeah, to get to know them a bit more, I haven't analyzed them so much. I have a little bit, of course, to know who's our better players and everything like that. But first, the staff. Staff, really important. Uh, the manager obviously would leave with me coming in. And then our under-18s physio. I actually went to sign a head physio after that, but we don't really have many under 18s. So yeah, I, I just left it. Didn't really replace it. We got like one under 18 player right now, but we actually got a 2k compensation for that. So that was pretty decent. Thought I'd let him go. Like, yeah, we get 2k for him. 
And yeah, like I said, I actually replaced him with a head physio, not actually an under 18s physio. But we had to sign an assistant manager. I was pretty happy with this, actually. Breeder Hangelands, obviously, ex Premier League player. Uh, you can see for Crystal Palace, Fulham. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember watching him. He was definitely a good defender for those teams. Obviously, not a really top level player, but yeah, uh, did a good job. I actually like him as an assistant manager. When I saw him, oh, yeah, he could be a very good assistant manager, especially after seeing his attributes. So, yeah, hopefully, he'll be able to do a good job for us. And also, another position that we didn't have, or another staff role we didn't have, was head of youth development, Calvin Hughes. Again, the judging potential is not the greatest, but yeah, he was one of the best available, though. But then working with youngsters, 15, so the coaching side of things is going to be decent. But especially in these early years, you never expect amazing uh, like youth intakes and everything like that. We also picked up a chief scout in Patrick Anderson. He's Swedish. Uh, he's got some nice attributes. The judging potential is 14, so he can judge yeah, some decent guys. Um, he actually used to be a scout for some big teams. Look, look at that, man. Or, or a player for some big teams. He was a scout for Manchester United, at least. So I think he has a decent reputation actually. If any of you guys remember him um, as a player for uh, Bayern or Barcelona, let me know in the comments. I always like seeing that. And then, yeah, the uh, head physio. So that was the staff changes. I'm pretty happy with those changes, to be honest, especially, yeah, Breda Hangeland as the assistant manager. I think in this division, in lower league management where we're starting this low, I think, yeah, that's a pretty good a pretty good guy to get in for assistance. So we'll go on the transfers now, and we've basically brought in four players. You will know, you will notice that our available wage budget is a bit in the red, uh, about 900 pounds, nothing too amazing. Uh, like, it's not so in the red, but we've got to be yeah mindful of that throughout the season, or more so the overall balance. What I'm more focused on, the actual amount we're spending, you can see currently spending 7.5, 5k and or and then committed spending 7.25k so that doesn't seem so bad but don't forget uh, we're in the lower leagues hopefully money it won't be a problem actually maidenhead united they're in the top <laughs> of the league in real life so that's kind of big expectations to follow and that's why i thought they'll be a good team to do as well and actually the story behind this i don't want to like drag on too long but basically the first ever lower league save i did in football manager my first football manager game football manager 2008 i did with maidenhead united and that's when they got promoted in this division as you can see yeah 2007 2008 season and obviously newly promoted team and i didn't even do that great with them because it was hard like yeah they didn't have a great team it was my first time doing like a lower league save and i just escaped relegation but i've a good memories of it because yeah had to fight for my job as well and staying up and I just remember yeah it was a it was a fun save so this is where I'm really going to continue on from there I suppose a few years later and it's good to see in real life they're eventually in a good position to get promoted but my first signing was Taylor Tom Beatties. he's an Australian player I'm interested to get some Australians, Australian players in, of course. But yeah, if there's a better player available who's not Australian, I'll go for them. That's the first thing. But he is good, 100%. Uh, right winger, you'll see like the setup of our team and everything. You'll see why he's a good signing for us. Uh, potentially be a key member of the first team. His current ability, yeah, three and a half gold stars. So yeah, you can see he's pretty good at 20 years old. He can improve. And probably my best signing uh, of the window Latif Alfred Aliu, I think that's how you say his name, but oh, he looks like a great striker, you can see his history, he actually played in Malta, and again, that's another thing, if I go to my profile, uh, you can see I've set myself like to be for this level, attributes for this level, you see I put myself a second na nationality, Maltese from Malta as my dad's side of the family uh, is Maltese, so just thought I would add that uh, something extra, I suppose. I, I've done that recently anyway, but I am from Australia, born in Melbourne for you guys that are wondering. But yeah, he actually played for the letter. He scored 13 goals in 26 appearances. So, so that is very interesting. Then he moved to Coventry in League One. So that's a pretty big drop for mine. And you can see he's definitely a good player. He's our best striker we brought in. Or well, he's our best striker now, considering, yeah, we brought him in. So hopefully he can do well. He's scoring in the preseason. Uh, really, really good. Uh, also, another Australian, Perry Colton. Uh, he came from Birmingham. So, yeah, Birmingham, that's a pretty big step down. But he was just like a youth player. It wasn't the first team, anything like that. But again, solid attributes. Doesn't have too many lower attributes. And then Matthew George, who is both natural at left-back and centre-back. Again, four-star current ability for the first team. 
covers two positions in defense, excellent, and can improve, obviously, potential ability. Um, he's got, as I say, his potential, oh, it's disappeared, but when I had a scout report of him, it said League 2, so yeah, decent potential in him, uh, but again, uh, we will go through the team fairly quickly, though, and through the player ability, you can get a get a gauge. Like we got Kieran Drake, uh, not really a good goalkeeper, so we probably need to invest in a goalkeeper eventually. But again, that's not as easy as it sounds <laughs> with limited funds. But Carl Pentney is going to be our starting goalkeeper for the season. Perry Cotton, uh, we signed him. Um, you already know. Uh, we'll have to adjust the team a little bit. Obviously, have it set up like a lot of substitutes for the friendly games. Uh, James Hammond, uh, he can play right back, can also play left back if needed. Then there's Renee Steer, who is a left back for us. He's solid. He starts at the team, of course. Uh, he actually came through the Arsenal Youth Academy again back in the day. Arsenal was one of the teams I did in full manager 28, uh, 28, <laughs> 2008, I should say. Um, and actually, I'm not going to go through the whole team. As I said, you can get a gauge of the players through the ability. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty in-depth squad view. So hopefully, yeah, you'll like that. I'm sure you want me to get into the first game of the season anyway. So we had offer for Christian Smith, but we, he actually had more offers. So we offered him a new contract. Um, he's, got an expired contract, he, he's on a non-contract, some players are like that, but he's got some bonuses when he plays and everything like that, but yeah, I kind of want to get into the first game of the season, so you are going to learn more about the players as we progress and everything like that, we'll get into the match preview, and I really like that we're playing our first game at home in front of the fans, and hopefully we get off to a good start here, I'm really, really excited, and Tactics-wise, I've got a simple like 4-4-2, not simple or not, and then I've got a version 2, which is basically, it's more a 4-4-1-1, playing with a shadow striker, so I initially started with that, but then I thought 4-4-2, I brought another striker in, so he can play that as well, so yeah, I'm really happy with the team, if you look at the role suitability and everything like that, role ability of the players, the player's ability, yeah, I, I really think we can have a promotion this season, maybe actually do like they are in real life, and yeah, finish top, obviously real life, there's still a long way to go, but I'd like to think uh, we can do that. We're playing on attacking as well. Just quick look instructions. We're playing high. We're playing fluid shape and exploit the right flank. You may notice that the left wingers we have aren't too special. We've got Harry Pritchard and then yeah, Sam Barrett, not really good. So with Tom Beatties and then also we have, or well, not Alan Massey, he's another uh, good player who can play at the back for us. Versatile James Mully. Where we can play, he's natural in a few positions, but yeah, he'll kind of rotate uh, with Tom Beatty's. We're definitely more of a strength down the right side, so that's why I want to focus that, and we'll see if that works well for us, and even the familiarity isn't the best, so we may not play our best right away, even though, yeah, I'm expecting us <laughs> to do well uh, from the off. As you can see, oh, yeah, like I said with the substitutes, we're going to have to take some off. Maybe, yeah, the guys that are a bit lower in their ability, that's why I like having the ability on the default screen here for the tactic squad screen so you can get a gauge of you're going to need the goalkeeper on the bench because you don't really know who's going to like get injured or you can get a red card in the middle of the game or something like that so how many more do we have to drop out because i'm just seeing who's going to not play a part uh christian smith uh, i think he's important important for the team hammond yeah maybe we'll drop out hammond and then how much, how much, uh, we can have, see, I haven't, I, I searched a bit for loan players, but I didn't really see anyone that caught my eye, so we can only have five on the substitute bench, so we've got a central midfielder, a striker, a right back, uh, Christian Smith, actually, we'll take off Wiltshire, Kieran Wiltshire, yeah, because he's more of a younger player, See, I'm still yeah finding about <laughs> some of my players. I haven't really seen too much of them and analysed their attributes so much. James Mully, definitely, he has to be. Actually, yeah, we'll just take off Christian Smith. So, yeah, a bit limited, <laughs> which is five substitutes. So, let's get into the game now. Submit the team. Oh, yeah, they yeah lack the match sharpness. We had a few friendlies. I'll just show you those, the results. We lost against Newport, uh, which to be accept, uh, expected because they're in League 2. But yeah, the rest of the games we won, which was nice to see. But now we will get into the game. 
will say yes. And you will notice if you watch my last series or any series before in previous years as well, like the game is going to be running more smooth and we are playing on the 3D. I'm just the director for now. And we'll put replays. We'll do goal action because that will cover the offsides as well. So yeah, hopefully you like that. But if there's a camera, you think that will be better. But for me, the director is pretty decent. You can see both teams just playing the 4-4-2 here. Hopefully we'll be able to get off to a, a good start. I haven't quite um, worked on the opposition instructions just yet but oh yeah hopefully figure that out as we go on but we'll start not really applying any because I don't have that natural like you would playing in the Premier League or something you would have an idea of the players abilities and you'll know yeah what you would want to work if you want to type mark them show onto a week of foot or something like that so maybe it has to be more positions focused but yeah right now uh, we'll just say yeah first game of the season let's give the fans something to cheer today hopefully we'll get off to a good start um also we'll say assertively uh, the second option there uh, generally will make them a bit more happy. And even that, I noticed myself, the reaction to that, when I click it, it's almost instantly, yeah, when the players react. And yeah, 3D, I'm not sure if you guys want to see this. We'll just, <laughs> we'll just skip it for now. So yeah, we're getting underway. Also, we're on... Oh, yeah, we're on key highlights. I, extended might make it a bit too long. Okay. Cotton, he's with the corner. Can we score? It's Tom Beatty's, the new signing on debut. The Australian, I really want him to do well as well. He's a guy as well, has about League 2 potential. So Inman, Tom Beatty's, Cotton, the other Australian we have. Hopefully they can be a bit physical. Australian um, football teams generally known for uh, being a bit more physical uh, compared to other teams, definitely. Not the same skill as other top <laughs> teams, Shouldn't even be compared, to be honest. But come on. Something's got to come from this. I feel as though we win the ball back. Pritchard. Tarpy. Oh, there he is. Alfred Ali, who played it off to Tarpy, and now it's Pritchard. That would have been ironic. Oh, no. Probably our best players picked up an injury. Oh, I'm a bit hesitant to take him off, though. I'll leave him on for now. But if I'm noticing, like, he's not really doing anything, because he's got that knock now so he's gonna miss he's gonna miss for sure but i'll try and analyze how he's doing throughout the game okay this is decent calmly uh loses the ball that's not decent that's bad oh it's muko muko is he gonna make me pay no that's very very good defending there happy with that but they do have a corner now they're going with a set play hopefully we can just clear that oh it's gonna be another corner Okay, another angle. Flood. Oh, they go close and they score. I wasn't expecting to concede there, honestly. I thought, <laughs> yeah, the highlight. Oh, they missed that chance. And we we go behind in this first half. Let's see the replay there. And we did actually work on defending set pieces. You would have saw that in the build-up to this game. And we still conceded. That's always disappointing. Because in a way, that's all you can do to work on the defending set pieces and obviously, your setup, your defending set pieces setup, there's not much else you can do outside of that. Well, apart from getting good quality players in as well that focus in those situations. But let's see if we can get the goal back. I may sub him out at half time unless he does something. Tarpy. Okay, Pritchard. Oh, man. See, that's what I mean. That's why I want to focus down the right side because, yeah, on the left wing, we don't have the best quality and we may concede here. This won't be good. Oh, how the hell does he score? Yeah, Muko. Yeah, he's the guy. Just to show you, I scouted him. I actually considered him as a, a signing. Maybe in the long term. Uh, yeah. But, uh, I'm just... <laughs> I can't believe that, man. We're down 2-0. I'm uh, pretty confident with our preseason, you know. That was a really good finish. and Pretty disappointed, honestly. This is a very bad start. We're probably going to have to yeah, look to sub our big signing. So it's on a free, but um, on the most wages now, I believe, for us. So we're going to have to sub him out, which I'm not too happy with. And we're just going to bring on Sean Marks. Because, so, yeah, now it's going to be really tough to win the game. Uh, we'll just go through the tactics. Sean Marks. We're going to change the role. He'll be more a target man type. Put him on support. But, yeah, I'm really disappointed. I reckon the wingers, we're going to go on attack now. But... Yeah, tough, <laughs> tough start. Definitely stuffed a tough start to this series. This save now. 
It was never meant to be easy, of course. <laughs> uh, but hopefully we can find some rhythm in the second half. At least, I don't think, yeah, like the chances we created, I don't think they were too good, but I don't think they were too bad. I felt, yeah, pretty comfortable. But, hmm. Can we, we've got to get an early goal in the half. We'd have to come from this highlight. Come on, Tarpy, finish it. Come on. Yes, yes, Marks, good finish. I'm just, <laughs> I was shocked there how Tarpy could, he was in a great position. So, luckily, we got one goal back. That's a good thing. Tar like, how didn't he, oh, it was a good, that was a really good challenge, to be honest, to be fair. So, good finish. Rice got his hands to it, but Marks, the finish was too powerful. So, will we make another change? Should we make another change to save this game? Oh, Tarpy, we can't sub him out. Ooh, Perry Cotton. Uh, we'll take him off and bring on, yeah, Peters. Should we maybe go a bit more attacking? we we'll go wing backs mm, on attack. We need to be looking for this goal. So they're not the preferred roles exactly of the players. And Pritchard, can we push him up? Yeah, we've got to push up the wingers. We've got to go for it now. Might not to be too many more chances. And both are going to be better as wingers, not inside forwards. So, yeah. Change the tactics that we didn't expect already. So, let's see the instructions. I'll take exploit the right flank off. Uh, I'm not I'm not quite too sure. Can you be a bit more expressive? We'll just go route one. Defensive line will go a bit higher. Uh, looking for this second goal. Just over 20 minutes to be played. And see, look at that. Inman has a 7.7 .7 rating. And then even uh, Wasma with a 7. So, judging off that defensively, they haven't been bad. So, come on. we got to look for equalizer. I feel we have been the better team in the second half. So, I think a draw would be fair if we share the points. Pentney. And I'm actually not sure. See, I don't know how good our opposition are. Uh, we just have <laughs> we're finding out today, maybe. Right. Come on, tackle him. Don't let... Oh, my God. They're going to have the chance. Dawson, they're going to have the chance. And luckily, Pentney saved it. Uh, maybe we'll go a bit of a team talk as well. We'll go assertively push forward as we look for a goal. Hopefully, don't concede another goal from a corner. That will be disastrous. Oh, oh, why did they have to turn into ghosts? <laughs> Last 10 minutes. Let's see. Maybe we'll go overload as well. Overload. Throw all players forward. Come on, we're going to look for it. Could be a tough start to the season, but oh, there's so many yeah, games left. But it will be disappointing. Yeah, only 20 seconds left. Doesn't look like a goal is going to come here. Very disappointing. But again, um, it's a very long season. Maybe a late chance, but it's not going to come. Uh, th see, I don't think we were that bad. We weren't bad here. Oh, I'm still disappointed about that goal we conceded from the corner. Uh, I feel that's the difference of the game. I feel we were matched. Like, pretty even. Could have made another sub, but, yeah. I'll just say, yeah, unlucky wasn't our day. They get a bit of a good reaction from that, surprisingly. But that's what I mean. Like, you could argue we're actually a better team. A bit more possession and more shots. We just need to, yeah, take those chances. And I feel you saw the tactic familiarity. It's really poor right now. So I wouldn't be surprised if we, uh, maybe after a month or so, We'll, we'll, we'll get a bit better. We'll get a bit better uh, at taking those chances. If you go to the match stats, uh, we didn't have any clear-cut chances. So that's something. We can take the positives out of that. We had a bit more possession. We had more chances. But maybe we need to work on those chances being a bit more clear-cut. So not so terrible, I suppose, out of the teams that lost, where we're the highest. So <laughs> I'll take that for now, but definitely I want to be winning uh, some games within the next month. And yeah, Bruce Thai to Alfred Aliu, like he's like a focal point of our attack, uh, without a doubt. He'll be missing for the next few games. Uh, so a few debuts there, and not to forget myself with the debut <laughs> as a manager. So yeah, a lot to come. And as I mentioned at the start of this video, I'll be playing a lot of games off camera. And in the past, I've seen like cup games, like really important to play. So yeah, I'm not sure um, I could play a few more games off camera and I'll just see. Uh, I'll just see because um, and when I say a few games, it'll more so be a lot of games off camera. Uh, just as a gauge, I want seasons to maybe go for five or six episodes.
five, six, seven episodes, not too long. So I hope you guys uh, will enjoy that. Um, obviously, it'll be good to see. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to try and review them a lot. I'll try and yeah, show you things that are happening so you don't miss a lot of the key things uh, that are happening. But yeah, this is new for me as well, doing a series um, in this style. Uh, where I will play a lot of games off camera, but I'm excited to play for fun at the same time because I've usually just recorded while playing the game Football Manager, so that should be a good balance for me as well. But I hope you guys will enjoy this series. Even though we lost the first game there, I think it is going to be... It's been a good start. It sounds weird losing the game, (laughs) <laughs> and it's been a good start, but it uh, like the, the team and everything. I like the players I signed. Disappointed to get that player injured. Uh, the striker, who I feel is pretty good, you'd see him as a good signing. So yeah, the next few games are going to be important. So you're going to see the results to those in the next episode. Hopefully, I do well. Wish me luck. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new as well. And I will see you guys in the very next episode.